Okie dokie, it's still April the 6th. Uh, I'm uh, already downtown. I didn't end up walking downtown, but I'm going to... Uh, I'm really just going a little ways down the street, but I'm going to walk uh, the long way around, go over to Broad Street and walk along there, which I haven't done very often. So that's the plan. So that'll stretch it out a smidge, technical term, smidge. I was working there in the lobby, in, in the lobby lounge. Got quite a bit of work done. There's this big project I'm working on and it's moving much faster than I anticipated. So I actually think it's going to be, uh, unfortunately in a way, <laughs> fewer hours than I could claim. There's a maximum number of hours I can claim. I don't think it's going to be that many hours. So. In a way, that's too bad, because I may not make as much money on it as I thought I would. On the other hand, it's not going to take as much time. That clock's actually right. It isn't always. So we'll go this way. That's the uh, South Power Building there. So go along Victoria. Oh, there's the government building that I like, the kind of uh, Art Deco-ish sort of building. Over there's the coffee shop I often go to, but it's not where I'm going today. As I said, I'm really just going a couple of blocks down Scar Street there, but I'm going to stretch it out by walking over to Broad Street. Because I don't walk in this part of Albert all that often. Up there at the building. Brazilian modernism was the inspiration for the architect, Joseph Pettick. And they are currently still renovating it. They've been working on it for a long time, redoing the facade. Seems to me like it's not that long ago they did the same thing, but here they are doing it again. Oh good, and I got something gritty in my eye, that's always fun. Especially early on in the proceedings here. This place with the uh, torch up here is a steakhouse. Gulfs. Been around for a long time. Eaten in there a few times. It's very old fashioned, really, but food's pretty good. And it's got this uh, gas torch that burns all the time out front. Gulfs. Did I say gulfs? I meant to say gulfs. Gulfs Steakhouse. Is the snow melting? Not today. But there's some much, much, much warmer weather in the forecast, so I think we're going to see a huge melt in the next couple of weeks. Crave here in what used to be the Assiniboia Club, which was a, originally a men's club, private club anyway. Some hotels over there. Victoria Place here, the Motherwell Building, is now condos. Here I am. So you can see a little bit of water there, but that's just from the, because the sun is warm, even though the air temperature is below freezing. It's supposed to only go up to about minus four, I think today is a high, but the long range forecast shows double digit melting very shortly. So I think I will be walking through puddles very soon. Down there's the coffee shop I go to sometimes. That's the, which one is that? The Ramada? Used to be the Ramada. Is it still the Ramada? I think it's a Ramada. Yes, that's the Ramada. The Ramada. Over there, I always think of it as the Regina Inn, but it's now a double tree. Double tree by Hilton. What's that? I said North Central isn't a good neighborhood. No, North Central is not a good neighborhood. It's probably our roughest neighborhood. rooftop bar and grill. They have a rooftop thing. I've never been up to their rooftop, even though that's what they use for their name. Might as well go through the parking lot here. So this is Broad Street. That's the Sask Oil building. At least it used to be. I don't think Sask Oil exists anymore. I'm not sure what's in there. 
Trifon's Family Restaurant is a pizza place that's been here forever. And this is Broad Street. The other main north-south drag. Albert goes right through. Broad doesn't really, but it's still a busy north-south street. Trifon's here. This is The Diplomat, another old-fashioned but nice restaurant. I don't think they call themselves a steakhouse. No, they do. Steakhouse and Lounge. Uh, well, North Central, as I said, is our roughest neighborhood, and that's why you're seeing... Uh, Relatively low priced, priced, priced houses there. There's a lot of uh, crime in that neighborhood. And uh, I'd, I'd be very careful. That's all I can say. I shouldn't run down the whole neighborhood, but it ha that's the reputation it has. I've never lived there, so I can't say for sure, but that's the reputation it has. It's the hood. As close as we come to it in a town of 220,000. I don't know. I haven't priced a house in a long time. So I really couldn't say it'd be a small house for 200000 Probably find a condo for that. That'd be a small house. Or possibly one that wasn't in very good shape. So again, you'd want to be careful. I don't even know what that is. Zoe. Fashion design footwear. Huh. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Well, everything is, uh, everything is close in Regina. So yeah, in a way I live close to North Central. I could walk there in 20 minutes. But I could walk most places in Regina in 45, so to an hour. We live in uh, the Crescents, which is uh, North Central is generally kind of north of Saskatchewan Drive. And we're south of it. Yeah. I wouldn't take my word for it. I would find other sources of information. All I know is what I've heard. And as I said, I mean, we own a house, so uh, I might as well go this way. And the house has been in the family since 1939 when it was bought for $5,000. So, you know, I have no idea what house prices are now. I just know that ours is, what ours is assessed at is considerably higher than that. But there's probably... Some nice small houses that might be in that. I don't know. You'd, you wouldn't buy it sight unseen anyway, so if you look at it and you like it, and the neighborhood seems nice, then go for it. So that was a very little bit of broad. Now I've already left broad. Heading back toward Hamilton, which will take me to our condo, which is where the car is. 
This is a nice, well, I don't know if it's nice or not. I've never been inside it, but I like the outside looks of it. This apartment building. Uh, yes, it is one of the most, uh, one of the cheaper places you can live in Canada, that's for sure, here in Saskatoon. I like this old place here. I don't know what the apartments are like, but I like the looks of the outside. There's another old apartment building over there. Cost of living is pretty reasonable here. I don't know how our taxes compare. Again, I'm settled, so I, I don't do any research on that stuff. No, it's cheaper than Toronto, though, because my daughter is renting an ordinary apartment there for $3,000 a month. She's sharing with her roommates for university, and it's not much of an apartment for $3,000 a month. You do have to put up with our weather, though, and here it is April the 6th, and... Oh, this is a terrible place to walk. I'm going to go this way. April the 6th, and this is what it looks like this year. Although Facebook has uh, tossed up my views from my walks from the last two years. And uh, the snow was gone last year and the year before by this point. So it's very much delayed this year. And it's going to minus 21 tonight before it shoots up into those double digits in a few days. So again, I expect a major, major melt. And a lot of water running, or not running. Expectably water in our basement there always is. It's an unfinished basement, so as long as we keep stuff off the floor. It doesn't get deep, but we certainly get some dampness down there every spring. Another one of the old apartment buildings there. I am walking down along Central Park. Not that Central Park, but our Central Park. And the guy that started all this for me, Walking Commuter, whom you can find on Facebook, I mean uh, YouTube, um, who walks in Manhattan, just posted a video of walking in Central Park, a 360 degree video, which would take a different rig than I've got, showing off the Cherry blossoms. We will get cherry blossoms here, but it'll be a month from now. Or more. Actually, more. Probably late May before anything blossoms here. Mid, yeah, I'd say so. Probably six weeks before you're going to see any blossoms on anything, minimum. And it has snowed here, in my memory, as late as the Victoria Day weekend, which is the third weekend in May, so... Apparently it's snowed every month of the year here in history, except July. I've never seen it snow in June, but I've certainly seen it snow in May and in September. It doesn't leave a lot in between. Never seen it snow in August. But I've seen it get close to freezing, which... Why is there a goose? There's a goose over there in, in the snow. Came home... Waiting for spring, and it's still a little puzzled. There's two geese over there. I just like the bare sidewalk, I guess. So the birds think it's spring. And it is, officially. And by daylight and everything it is. But it's just the weather waves. There they are, just enjoying that little bit of bare ground, it looks like. <laughs> Okay, right up here is our building we have a condo in. We bought when we were first married, and we still own it, but we live in the house now, and this is like our west wing, east wing, I guess. We use it for this and that, but it's not being lived in, per se, although it's still fully furnished, fully functional, has a refrigerator and everything, which just... <laughs> 
We use it some. Use it as a guest room sometimes. Who knows, we might end up back in it because the house might eventually get to be too much. What with having two levels and upkeep. Hopefully that's not for many years. That's a nice house over there. So here we are at College Court, and this is where I'll stop because my car is here. So I have to go up and pick up our Easter ham, which is in the refrigerator here. So thank you for walking with me. I stretched it out a little bit, but I admit, it's still a pretty short walk. That's it for now. Goodbye. It'll be goodbye if I can find the right button to push. Uh-huh.